and mm. they pointed out some issues, but they sounded achievable <laughs> at the time. Yeah. I would potentially cry. Straight from the first minute, you're like, okay, that, that would be a day's work, stripping all the wallpaper. It's mm. not, it's two weeks work. Mm. Floor had just crumbled and I'd stepped on that and my foot had gone straight through. I'm using this guy like, they're saying, oh, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be all right. But I knew that this was very bad. You guys in, in 2020 decided to buy your first house together. Yes. Not a normal situation <laughs> for most people. No. Tell us a little bit more about that and how that came about. So it happened quite fast, um, which is probably what led to so many issues. But um, we were freelancing. Once we lost our job and I cried, uh, <laughs> we started freelancing and um, we were earning some like good money. It was quite surprising. We were like, oh, wow, this has been working really well. Uh, and the conversation started coming up about getting a house together and things like that. Uh, not together, just getting a house. Um, I was thinking about doing it with family. I was thinking about doing it with a friend. Um, but the sort of turning point was we were just chatting in the office and we were like, why haven't we really like considered doing it with each other? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we know we work with each other every day and we earn the same money. So everything could be quite simple. And we trust each other. We lived mm -hmm. with each other before. And that was as simple as it was. From that point, we were like, okay, let's start looking into it. Um, from that point, we quickly got in touch with a broker and then everything just spiraled into like very quick. We have to buy housing yeah. a month. Okay. <laughs> we, now we've got a mortgage in principle. We've got a month to do it. The pandemic's about to hit. Mm. Um, did some viewings and spontaneously spent all of our money. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a scary feeling when all the money you save throughout your entire life just leaves your account. <laughs> it's just all gone. It's like, oh, okay. and you just walk into your house and then the bricks off, the wall's falling down. It's like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> so when you were going through that process then and you were looking at properties, like, what were you thinking? Like, because if people know you from TikTok, they'll know that you didn't buy a new build, shall we say? No, no. So we kind of set out with quite a simple plan. I think a lot of people look this way. It's like, try and look for things that would add value because we didn't want it to just be a, like we're buying a house just to live and not rent. We wanted mm -hmm. it to be an investment from the get-go because mm -hmm. we know there's value in that. So we were like, okay, let's try and locate in a place where uh, we know that, that the value could go up. So for us, that was um, following the Elizabeth line because mm -hmm. we knew that was coming into effect. Mm -hmm. um, and then we were like, we can do a bit of work, you know, compared to other people. We're quite, you know, we, we, we um, we're young. We're able uh, yeah. <laughs> to move. Um, so we're like, we can we can take on a bit of a challenge, even though we had no experience. Um, so then we're like, okay, this place looks worn down. You know, looked at a few, they were too small or, or too far away so that we couldn't actually get to work. Um, and then we spotted the house. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing, mm -hmm. but yeah, it, it was just... It didn't seem so bad, you know. They they did all the surveys and things like that, and mm. they pointed out some issues, but they sounded achievable at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It felt like we could do with it. Yeah, it felt like it. Yeah, there's a pop, there's a popular um, phrase right in property: "Buy the worst house on the best street." Was yeah. that kind of the case for that you guys? That was definitely the, mm. the case for us. Mm. Definitely yeah. the case for us. Mm. Yeah, mm. we so, just didn't know the worst meant. The How worst. Bad it was. Was. <laughs> I mean, it the Let's unpack that a little bit. What kind of challenges did you guys face with this purchase? Oh, right, man. right. Even from the um, process of purchasing, mm -hmm. and when you're in the house and you're realizing, looking at the four walls, damn, we've got a work job on our hands. Yeah. Mm. I mean, just straight from the first minute, you're like, okay, that that would be a day's work stripping all the wallpaper. It's mm. not. It's two weeks' work. Yeah. You know, you you start doing it. Bits of wall come off with it. Or there's like seven layers and the first layer was stuck on with super glue and it's just not coming off at all. Yeah. Um, Even like walking into the house, as soon as the first day you walked in, there's like an overwhelming stench of damp just like hits mm -hmm. your nose mm -hmm. and the back of your throat. And it's like, damn, like this place is it's in a terrible that. condition. <laughs> so, yeah, because I guess you on the first viewing, I went alone um, because Cullen wasn't feeling, you weren't feeling well. <clears throat> Yeah, I wasn't, I, I couldn't make it to the first one. I don't yeah. Know. So well. you could just blame all of this on Ola. It's, like... <laughs> it's, all, it's all my fault. No, I wish. He, he, he did his, he was sending me pictures the whole time. So yeah. People off as well in the yeah. viewing. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's subsidence. <laughs> <laughs> really loud. Oh, no. Oh, no. Terrible. Ter terrible. <laughs> so oh. there was a lot of challenges then yeah. that you oh, faced. Yeah. Like in terms of like, mm -hmm that renovation project then, like talk us through some of the biggest ones that you've thought, that you probably weren't anticipating when you bought the property. Mm, okay. So the biggest by far was the 
the kitchen floor. That was something that we were like, we were worried about it. Somebody said it had dry rot. Uh, somebody that did a survey said there's potential dry rot risk. Um, and that's something that we wouldn't have been able to afford to fix because it's like a very serious thing for a property like next to subsidence. That's like one of the one things you don't want. Um, so we had somebody come in and check a floorboard um, and underneath was concrete. So it's like, okay, the wood's not rotten because it's not wood, it's concrete. But when we got to it, um, we were removing a cupboard uh, that had damp. We didn't know the source of the damp. And when we did, the floor had just crumbled and I'd stepped on that and my foot had gone straight through <laughs> and like touched the, the soil under the house, which by the way, I didn't even know it was soil under houses. <laughs> like, you yeah. don't know these no. things. I yeah. don't know what ha- uh, houses built under. Um, and that's when we realized we had to rip up the whole floor, the laminate floor, and it was all wood apart from a tiny section of concrete, um, which is where they picked the piece up. Mm-hmm. So that was our sort of biggest. And was it dry rot? Oh like, yeah, it was yeah. full on, like the entire so floor. Oh, so that was like a big panic yeah. so followed nice. by intense laughter. Mm, yeah, <laughs> um, exactly. yeah. And then more panic. Mm. What did you do in that mm. situation? Because I think I would potentially cry. Like yeah. if I realized that the challenge was that much harder than I had anticipated. Yeah, I remember looking at Cullen's face and <laughs> <laughs> I often do in these situations when we're like in a bad place and he was just like, oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? That was like the face. And I'm just like, oh. I'm usually the guy like that's saying, oh, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be all right. But I knew that this was very bad. Still, yeah. I have to just keep a brave face like in this yeah. situation. Like, we'll find a way, we'll find a way. You always have, and it's, mm-hmm. not gonna, exactly. it's not gonna kill us. Mm. And that was the one, I think the reason why it's always the most memorable for us is like, we had just started to get the house under control. Like we'd been through so many problems with like woodworm, um, the walls falling off, uh, the bricks falling out of the wall, um, ceilings needing to come down and all that lot. And we'd finally been at a point like, okay, we can relax. We can yeah, leave the kitchen for the why. time being so um, and breathe. Cause it had been like, I don't know how many months, like four, five, six months of every day, seven o'clock till 11 o'clock at night, just trying mm-hmm. to catch up on the work. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when that happened, the same day we had to rip out the entire kitchen um, mm-hmm. And at that point, we hadn't even ordered a skip. You know, we were just like ripping stuff out and putting it out the front of the house. So Crazy. we got a little bit of therapy from smashing everything. <laughs> that, was, that was nice. Yeah. 